Hi everyone, hope you're good guys. Today I'm gonna show you how I like to make kick drum with the Diffam. So share with you a little bit my process and few tips and tricks here and there. All right, so let's get started. I have reset everything. As you can see, all the velocity down, all the pitch is down. Everything is down. Just the envelope the modulation are in the middle, the frequency in the middle, the decay in the middle. And I'm just gonna press play. So we don't hear nothing. So I'm gonna bring velocity on step one and five to be like kind of a kick pattern. And I'm gonna bring up the VCO one volume. So one thing I recommend as well for now is to have the sequence of pitch modulation on off. So this way the pitch sequencer doesn't alter the VCO1 frequency or the VCO2 frequency. And yeah, basically to create a kick drum, you just need to apply a pitch envelope to your oscillator. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring down the frequency a little. And we're gonna apply a bit of envelope amount. You need to have a bit of decay to really hear. And then it's all about adjusting to your taste. You can have a longer kick with your GK here. So first tips I want to give you is to add extra punch. Uh, I like to use the VCO envelope to actually modulate your VCA. So in order to do that, you need to take your VCO egg out and modulate the VCA GK. It kind of adds extra punch. You can still control your GK with the VCA GK, obviously, but obviously now the VCO GK will also affect it, but it doesn't really matter that much because you can still reshape it with the VCA GK. The next things I will do is uh, using a filter. So you have two way to use the filter. You can either have a low pass filter and modulate it by the envelope very fastly to open it very fast, or you can use the high pass filter with the resonance to crank up your frequency cutoff. So this way it creates an extra resonance on your kick. There is a third way I will show it later. So let's start with the high pass filter. You can crank up a little bit the resonance here how it's out there the tone of your kick now the second way to use the filter is obviously like i said with the low pass filter and to open it very fastly so here i'm negatively you need to go positively go down maybe bring down the resonance and then you can decide how much the filter is open with the vcfgk you can bring the cut off a little bit more up if you want to have more harmonics of your kick drum You can play with the resonance, but it can get very hollow, so don't go more than, I would say, there. Now, here the cool trick to do that with a low-pass filter is usually when you have a waveform which is very rich in harmonics, and obviously the triangle uh, is not, like, the best for that, but if you take the square waveform, you have a lot of harmonics, but if you low-pass this, and the same method, opening the filter very fast. So the way it's working is the way that it will open very fastly your filter, just enough to have a bit of transient and like a rich harmonic transient. So this way it's just not too subby or very uh, low kick. And obviously you can change your VCO and to readjust Now another trick I wanted to show you is here I'm using the VCF envelope amount and the VCF GK to modulate the cutoff but you have here as well a noise VCF modulation knob and basically what you mean is like in this VCF mode if for example you feed it an envelope with you can now use this to apply a filter envelope 
or new kettle. So I'm gonna bypass this one because I don't need for now. I'm gonna use this one instead. And in order to do that here, it's just gonna add noise and grit. So you need to feed it with something and I'm gonna feed it actually with the VCO GK again. So this way it's gonna now modulate the VCA and as well the filter. And it basically does the same job than this one, but now you have this uh, VCF envelope that maybe you can use to add a little bit of click or control a little bit more your harmonics. You can hear, I just add a little click at the beginning. And you can Then after you can use it how you will have normally used it, but if you want just a little click at the beginning, then you can switch back to the triangle, different taste. But yeah, that's another great trick I like to use. All right, so before to jump on how you could use the sequencer to actually create a kick bass sequence, I want to talk about adding the second VCO. And the great thing with the second VCO is you have some FM amount that you can apply from the VCO one. And obviously the FM is gonna add some extra harmonics and then give a different color to your kick. So let's focus first on the second oscillator alone. Here again, you can select triangle or square. Maybe I'm gonna go with square and you can already see how VCO1 is affecting VCO2. Now here, obviously you wanna leave your VCO1 as it is, as you already said to have a, cook, a great kick drum. If you start to obviously switch the VCO1 frequency, you, you're gonna mess up your kick that you have on VCO1. So you won't, don't want that. So here anyway the thing is to play with the fm amount and the vco to frequency and there is different way you can see it maybe just add an extra harmonic layer maybe trying to get something more in the sub frequency to add a bit more body it's really up to you and you can really experiment you can decide to apply some uh, envelope amount so you can use the R sync mode, which is gonna reset the phase of both oscillator. So you're gonna see later when we're gonna blend oscillator one and oscillator two, you might have some like kind of phase issues. So maybe R sync can solve that, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I think the best actually is to use VCO one and try to use something. So maybe I'm gonna open the filter a little bit more. here So the other way I wanted to show you how to use the filter is basically the filter is self-resonant. So when you go at more than three o'clock, it will self-resonate and then you can use your filter as oscillator. And then again, you can modulate with a pitch envelope and it will act like a kick drum. So let's crank up the resonance. You might not need to have that much filter modulation. you don't actually need the oscillator I 
that it safe resonate but yeah I rather use it as I was using it Like that. Alright, now what about we create a kick bass sequence? So the idea is to have our on step one and five our kick drum, so velocity at the full maximum. And then in between the step we can have a lower velocity. So this way, as the velocity triggers as well the intensity of the envelope, it won't be as punchy as a kick drum, so it will sound more like a tom or bass line. So let's do that. <laughs> the pattern you like. Now a, a way I found to accentuate that is actually to use the velocity to modulate the VCA control voltage. So now to make things even more interesting as we don't use the pitch sequencer maybe you can use it to modulate something so you can modulate basically any other parameter that is still available but i will go with the vco gk and it might need some adjustments but pitch to uh, vco gk so let's see how it sounds now okay now because we have everything to the minimum but let's see on our kick Now you can play with the velocity and the pitch to kind of create a sequence that you like and yeah i hope you like it let me know uh, if you want to see more different video what type of video uh, it's such a complex machine that i can make a video for baseline percussive element creating hats and symbols yeah let me know in the comment and thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video and see you soon guys bye bye